What's up guys? I've just come out to a small roadside park. It's actually the name of this park. It's called Texas Roadside Park. And there's this beautiful little stream here. You guys can see crystal clear water. I mean, I'm not saying it's clean. It looks a little stagnant in places, but it is moving. I think it's the Bass Pro Shops Microlite Elite. I need to clean this thing off. It's getting a little dusty. The matching tourney special rod. It's a five foot six inch rod. And I'm just using a float. A couple of small shot, very small bait holder hook. There we go. There we go. That's a very nice little bait right there. Oh, they're, oh, they're chasing it. They're chasing it. <laughs> I didn't get it as far as I wanted to. I forgot. I caught a, a gar on this the other day, you know, a couple of pounds, but it kind of dug the line into the spool. So uh, I didn't cast quite as far as I wanted. There we go. First time out. All right, let's see how, oh, oh, did you guys see how fast that happened? It's instant, instant. Okay, they're they're way out there now. Fish on. Ooh, look at that. A green sunfish. Already we're doing better than I expected. That's one of my favorite fish to catch. Another one. Beautiful. Ah, oh, epic. I love these green sunfish. They are great. They have all the colors of, um, you know, something like the long ear, but they, uh, they have the body shape and appearance and also kind of the fight of a bass. So you really get the best of both worlds if you're uh, out here pan fishing. The hook out of his mouth. Good thing is, because this is uh, now so straight due to the concrete, I can cast uh, much more clearly in one direction without having to worry about the fish running sideways. Now that the little creek is kind of narrowed up, I'm gonna move down to about where that tuft of grass is and just start casting into that pool out there. There's a fish, what do we got? Tiny, tiny little, tiny little green sunfish. Oh, there's so many of these in here. It's amazing. I can't remember the last time I came out to a, a creek like this and just caught so many green sunfish. I mean, obviously I've caught, you know, loads of uh, long ear or bluegill in a single spot, but this is one of the first spots I've come to where it's almost exclusively the green sunfish. I think I want to have a walk back there a little bit. That's kind of, it's kind of untamed. It's kind of, Kind of wild looking. That's my Jeff Probst there, my live in studio Jeff Probst impression. Survivor live finale. All right, let's see. Um, I think I, ooh, I don't know how I want to approach this. Wow, it is thick back here. Really cool though. Really cool. See, what I want to do, if I get to the other side, I want to get back here and see if it opens up a little. And maybe there's like some, some small bass maybe. Who knows, maybe even some small, uh, it's just gonna be an easy day guys. Fishing on the side of the road at a park. That's what I told myself. There we go. It's 
a little patch of rocks in the center we can stand on here. Super neat. I have extra shoes. I might just wade through this. I don't know. There we go. See, as I try to go through the bushes on either side, I'm scaring these fish. So if I can actually get, you know, right up along next to them in the stream, casting straight, might be a better option. You know, ideally I want to throw this float relatively close to where I think they're going to be. And you know what? I think, you know, screw it. We're going to get our feet wet, guys. This is just too good of an opportunity to fish in a stream like this. Actually, so far, these boots are keeping my feet kind of dry. All right, I keep seeing some pretty big wakes out there. Oh, that was a almost a good cast. I, I guess it's all right. I kind of wanted it to the left a little bit. There are some some decent fish in here. Maybe maybe that's the better option. I don't know. Yeah, I got some, some moss back on that one. That was much. Did the float? Oh, we already got a fish on. I was going to say, as soon as it hit the water, a fish came out and grabbed it. Unreal. I was in the process of saying that was a much better cast and this guy hammered it. Beautiful. I'm so glad that whole thing was on camera. Epic fish, epic fish. All right, final stop. I did a bit of hiking and wading, actually, uh, upstream. Didn't see or you know, even uh, get any bites from any fish at all. So I'm gonna try kind of back where we started, except I wanna throw up at the higher end. Ooh, straight away, straight away, fish on. Wow, that's amazing. I hiked all that way up there. You know, um, through some really beautiful area with much, much uh, deeper, fishier looking water. There we go, get that out. Didn't get a single bite and then instantly, instantly throw this in and the fish are competing for it. It's amazing. Let's go again. It's gonna go right out in the middle, right away. Oh, missed him. But right away, a fish took it. Let's go again. Same spot. Right away. Fish on. Oh, look, finally. It's a bluegill. Different species. Man, they are just absolutely hammering it. And man, you know, it's got to be, it's got to be because of how many caterpillars are out here. Every few seconds, I'm having to uh, brush one off of me or, you know, put it somewhere else. I don't, I don't like to do anything that would hurt a caterpillar. There we go. Fish on. Oh, missed him. That was a good fish. That one felt a little bigger. Oh, wow. Yes. Look at that. Oh my God, that one's the, that's the fish of the day right there. That is the fish of the day right there. Look at that. That's a big green sunfish right there. It's got a mouth on him like a grouper. Look at the huge mouth on these fish. Whoa, big, big mouth. And look, put him back there, he's fine. As I'm filming that, 
See, that's on my shoulder. This guy, little, little uh, caterpillar. And right next to him is this guy, which I don't know. Maybe that's a different species. Get off. Anyway, loads of caterpillars out here, and I have a feeling the fish are kind of on like a, a heightened sense of alert because there's so many, so many uh, caterpillars falling in the water. They're just out grabbing them constantly. So every single time I cast, it's like a race to the bait. I'm actually going to set my stuff down here for a split second. That one really powered away with it. You always know it's a good sunfish when they pull the shot out of place. Let's go a little deeper, actually. A little further out. Boom. Fish, fish, fish. Does he still have it? Yes. A big one, too. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Woo. That's a pretty one. Man, that's a beautiful fish. It's interesting how uh, the bigger ones seem to stop biting all of a sudden, and yet the smaller ones are still going at it. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oh, it's a bass. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So hoping I would catch one of the bass out of here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Came back in. See some out there. They look like green sunfish to me. Boom. Got him. Yes. That is what they are. Fat little guy. There's a good one. Boom. Nice. Nice little bluegill. Get him back. Now let's end the day on this fish. I know we're going to get one if I cast out there. They are so hungry out there. Already something. Boom. All right. Final fish of the day. What's he going to be? Beautiful, beautiful little green sunfish. I love it. Let's let him go. Small stream, but epic results. That'll do it for us today, guys. Loads of great fish caught. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, hit the bell and all that good stuff. If you want to help support the channel even further, check out the link to the Patreon page in the description of this video. More is coming. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.